Hey guys, I wanted to have a follow-up conversation with you regarding makeup and expiration dates. So I threw the challenge out to you guys to clean out your makeup drawers. So I said, throw away what you don't like, what doesn't make you feel good, and what's expired. So in doing that myself, I realized that not all makeup has an expiration date on the back. So I found some helpful tips and wanted to share them with you. Of course, just to recap, and a lot of you already know this, on the back of your products, should be a little image that looks like an open container. It'll have a number in it and the letter M. And that is how many months you should keep that product once it's been opened. Again, not all products have that on the back. So I had some that did not. So I Googled just to see what expiration dates were out there and realized that there is a cosmetic calculator. This cosmetic calculator will let you put in the brand that you have and the batch number and it will tell you how old your product is, which I thought was really cool. So for instance, this was Revlon. The batch number was over here on the edge. So I just used their little dial, found Revlon, put in the batch number. It told me exactly how old this was and I'm pretty certain it was spot on. So this I've had longer than I need and it's gotta go. So I thought that was a really handy tool I wanted to share with you so that you could use it. But then I also found just some general guidelines on makeup. Now, of course, go by whatever the back of your makeup says, because it may say something totally different. These are just some guidelines to use in case you have nothing to go by. So foundations, highlighters, and concealers, they say are good for six months to one year. On your powder blush, two years. On your cream blush, a year to a year and a half. Now on lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, they say one year. Brow pencils, also one year. Now this one really shook me and took me by surprise because I just thought it would last longer. Mascara, only three months. Gel eyeliners, two months. Liquid eyeliners was three to four months. Another one that really bothered me was eyeshadow because I think I keep my eyeshadow way too long. Three to six months once it's been opened. Now, perfume, three to five years, and nail polish, one to two years. And I think these things are things that we all use on a regular basis. So I thought those would just be good to share with you. Like I said, of course, always go by what the back of your makeup says, but if it smells funny, it's starting to separate, it's changed colors, definitely pitch that stuff. So I just thought this was some handy information and wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know what you think um, or if you have other ideas about how to keep up with your makeup.